Okay, so the second video in the series of moving from Twin Motion to Quest 2 is looking at concepts where outside of Twin Motion we can begin looking at the types of files, things that we're creating inside of Twin Motion without the software itself. And there's two quick and easy ways to do that from Twin Motion. So the first is building 360 panoramic files, building 360, the second um, is building 360 video files, and the third is making a full VR presentation. So the first two, creating panoramas and videos, those are basically creating an artificial 3D environment. They're going to work on everything from a phone um, to a Quest 2 to a higher end VR headset on an ultra computer, right? The presentation mode, this you really need a good VR setup for this to work. This is still using the Unreal Engine and it is still going to rely on a VR ready machine to make those particular scenes happen. The nice thing about these first two is as a designer, we have complete quality control over what those images are going to look presentation mode is going to be reliant on somebody else's computer to run okay so right now my preference really if I'm going to turn something over to a client is to use something where I have full control over what those files are going to look like so I am still in the mindset I prefer pen rams and videos in terms of building something to hand over and also it's quite simply it works on everything I don't have to have a VR rig to make those things happen. Okay, so let's look at setting up panoramas. I already have two built. Process is super simple. I'm going to navigate to a location. So just kind of come up high. And create a quick view that I'm interested in. I can create a new panoramic and I have that ready to go. So I have seating one, seating two, and then panorama three from this exterior. Um, then when we go to export mode, it's as simple as selecting those files. Let's go back to media and let's do video. So I've already created a video. Um, and again, if I'm moving this to VR, right, I'm going to set this up as a non-moving camera. I've gotten to the point where I'll do subtle moves, a little up, a little bit down, forward, something like that, but it is moving very slow and very simple, and that's to keep anybody viewing from getting motion sickness, which really does happen, and it can happen really fast in VR. But these simple little animations where we run a camera in a still location, gets across some of the power of twin motion and that is that this is a living environment that we're building um, trees moving birds flying that kind of thing and there's just something really powerful about that in particular so this is a super short clip typically I would be rendering out something closer to 30 seconds to a minute and then setting that up as a series of videos that somebody can navigate through so the one other thing that we can do if we know I'm delivering to somebody that has a quality rig, is we can build a presentation. So the presentations um, work in a really similar way. I'm going to simply click Create Presentation, and then I'm going to click this Add Media button. These are the things that I've already preset. They could be images, panoramics, or videos. So I'm going to grab those three panoramics and drag them in and I'm also going to grab that video and drag it in and now I have those four elements as specific presets for somebody to view so time of day lighting quality location those will all be things that can be selected so those are sort of my curated items for that presentation.
So super important to do that, right? We want to provide some presets so we can navigate through it quickly or show a client the key elements. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Quit Media Mode and then look at Exporting. So underneath the Export um, Panoramic, I would be selecting all three of those. So it's got Multi. I'd be going to More and then double checking my method. Typically, I keep 3D off. Uh, I'm not trying to do left eye, right eye for something like this. I just want a single image that's going to work in VR. It does lose a little bit of the stereoscopic depth, but uh, it's a much easier file to work with. And right now I'm more interested in that. On video, let's select our video. So it's, it's at this location for video that we can tell it to be a 360 video. Often it's just set to standard if I'm going to display it on a computer screen, but typically for VR, I'm going to set it to 360, not 360 3D. That's going to give me a left eye, right eye. Again, I'm just interested in a single view 360 video. Again, much, much easier to work with. And there are some post things that I'm going to show in the third video in terms of uh, that file being the easiest format to work um, last is presentation. I'm going to select presentation right here. And then when I hit start export, it's going to give me all of those files. Now, in particular, rendering out a 360 panoramic video. Um, if you think about animation, um, it's typically running at 30 frames per second. If I'm doing a 360 panoramic, that is six images for every 30th of a second to build that panoramic file. If I'm doing panoramic 3D, it's giving me 12 images for every 30, 30th of a second. So even though Twin Motion is a screaming fast renderer, it is still going to take several hours to render out a 360 video. Okay, so be aware of that. So I've already got these files exported. So what I'm going to do, rather than running through that and watching my computer just stall out for an hour and a half, I'm going to go ahead and close down Twin Motion. Not going to save right now. And let's go to our files. And you can see that's created presentation, ThornQuest, as a folder. Um, I've also have the two panoramics. I only did the two, and you can again you can see that those are 360 files. Those are ready to be wrapped or placed into VR. Um, and then same thing with the video. So this is just a five second video clip. And again, you can see that it is a 360 video. So let's close that. To see something like this video in 3D um, as a spherical file um, or a file we can look around on in um, the desktop, on the desktop. This isn't necessary to put it into a headset, but just to understand what it looks like. There is, a, it, it needs the metadata to tell this file that it is a 360 file. So to pull that out, let's go ahead and close this out and minimize, minimize, minimize. So um, it is spatial media metadata injector that we actually need to run um, to tell that movie that it is actually a 360 file. So let's go ahead and launch that. My video is a spherical 360 file. So I'm going to click open. We are going to again navigate to oh dear. There we go. We are going to navigate to that file. video 10 mp4 so can you remember that that was flattened out we're actually going to make that read on the computer as a 360 file okay so my video is spherical 360 i'm going to click inject metadata i'm going to send it right back to the same folder and if you notice that puts that suffix injected dot mp4 and it really happens just that fast it does just a simple little tag and now when I double click on it, you can see now this is a navigable file. So super important step um, to do because again, 
viewing options is always, always, always an important thing to provide. Um, so those people that might not be able to view this in VR, you're giving them uh, at least a viewing experience that is unique and something that they can see fully by doing that metadata. And that's an easy little program, a free piece of software to find. Um, you just do a search for spatial media metadata injector and you'll be able to find that and install it. Okay, so let's get back into this presentation mode, presentation, a twin motion presenter.exe. So this was the presentation file. If you notice, it does a couple of things. It is going to give me the game engine. It is going to give me my twin motion file and it, this exe file, okay? So this is outside of twin motion. I can simply double click that exe file it's going to take a second and launch twin motion in presenter mode. So this can go to anybody on, well, I would say any computer, any computer capable of running twin motion and capable of running VR, right? So this now is a fully navigable file. So it's really nice to have that. Uh, again, it has the different key locations preset and ready to go, which is super nice. And again, if I'm presenting to a client, especially a formal presentation, I am not presenting in twin motion. I am right here so that I can use this almost like you would use PowerPoint, right? I want these organized. I want this to be consolidated, super clear, super concise. Um, speaking of which, I would be hiding the navigation now so I look like I'm a professional in the now, from here, again, this is all about going to the Quest 2 from this presenter mode. I can still click here, and as long as I am linked and everything is running before I launch presenter, I can again click that, and it will take me right into um, VR mode. Same thing that we had when we were inside uh, Twin Motion. Um, this is just outside of the software. So let's go ahead and escape out of that, and that will take us right back into that presentation. Okay, so the next thing that we want to be able to look at is moving files over and beginning to use the Quest untethered from these. Now, unfortunately, this uh, .exe file is too hefty to think about transferring this over. And getting it working um, on Quest itself. Um, we would not be able to get the fidelity, um, we would not be able to get all the trees, the geometry, and get it running on the Quest 2 as a standalone file. So this is where getting some of these simpler panoramic files and animated files is a much better route to go. So that's what's going to be showing up in the next 